if you have a lot of dust. Um, and I guess as a bonus I'll show you real quick how to set the the uh, commander mode so that you can use the remote flash with an SB800 or an SB600. So we're going to change our flash control to commander mode uh, built-in flash. I'm going to leave it on for the fun of it. Even though you might want to turn it off. Uh, group A is on. Group B is on. We've set it to channel 3. Alright, so now all we need to do is set the flashes and I'm going to be able to control each flash individually since they're in two different groups. I can change the brightness of each one. But I need them to be in two different groups. So I need one flash to be in group A and one flash to be in group B and both flashes to be in channel 3. Channels let you use your flash without conflicting with other photographers who may be around. Um, so I'm going to be able to see if I can line this up. my SB800, so we're going to turn it on. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. So, to get into the menu, we hold down the middle button. And right now, this is the default, so we're going to hit the right arrow, or down arrow to, or sorry. So, the top right menu item is Let's, let's choose whether or not it's a master remote or a regular flash front camera. We're going to go down, set it to a remote, hit the middle button, and then hit the power button to get out of the menu. So now you see it's a remote. It's set to group B, channel 3. Channel 3 is correct. I'm going to hit the middle button to toggle down to group. And I'm going to have this one be group A. up and down toggles it. So now it's group A. Left and right changes the zoom on the flash. So hit the, um, okay, just leave it like that actually. So now this one's ready to fire as group A. Now for the SB600, we're going to turn it on. And to get into the menu, you hold down the bottom and the left buttons at the same time. A little zigzag arrow is the commander mode or the remote flash mode uh, right now it's set to off so I'm gonna hit the mode button now it's set to on and then hit the on off button to get out of the menu and now you see the little zigzag arrow in the middle left there that means that the flash is remote we see that it's in group A now I just set the, eight, the SB800 to group A so we're gonna wanna change that to group B so channel 3 is correct and now it's in group B and now, if I fire my flash, let's see if I can take a picture of the ceiling. Ta-da! And that's that. couple of addendum items I forgot to mention. Um, when you have the flash set to commander mode, if you put an external flash on top of the camera on the hot shoe, like a SB600 or SB800, it won't use that as commander. The commander mode is only for the flash that's actually built into the camera. If you want to use a more powerful remote, you need to use the commander mode built into that flash and set the camera to a regular flash mode which is commander mode off, which is DTL. Another thing that I wanted to mention is uh, a key feature of Nikon Capture, and that is every picture you take while the camera is connected is uh, saved to the hard drive instead of to the flash memory. And it's saved very quickly because it's USB 2.0. 
And you also get instant full screen review of your image that you took at whatever resolution you want. You can either have it at 50% resolution, 100% magnification, or fit to screen. I like fit to screen. So uh, I have Nikon Capture running now. I'll give you a picture of that with a live view. Here we go. Live view handheld. Start. Oh, you can't see it because it turns the screen off when you have live view on. All right, I'll show it to you. Um, this. Whoops. That's not going to work. Well, uh, let's see. I guess this won't work with the live view plugged in. However, show you what it does with a D70. So I'll plug in my D70. Turn it on. There, it detected it. Zoom in. This is what the camera capture software looks like. Focus. There we go. I can't show you the live view on the D70, but I can show you the instant image review. So if I take a picture, take my camera lens on. Okay, there's my screen. Now I'm going to take a picture. There goes the picture. And it is pitch black because I have a flash mode set to command around the D70 so it doesn't contribute to the picture. So now I've set it to TTL. And now if I take a picture of the printer, there we go. Instant full screen image review. Anything that I take a picture of, uh, take a picture of a hat. The D70 has a one speed USB, so it's kind of slow to transfer the pictures. With the uh, D300, it shows up about a half a second after I take the picture. Even, um, even raw pictures are quick, about one second for a raw picture. And that's all that I wanted to show you. Uh, take it easy. Hope that helped. Bye.